1967 Chevelle Super Sport Convertible Tribute. It started life out as a V8 Malibu convertible and now is powered by a beautiful running 454 big block four barrel with power steering and power brakes. This big block has a chrome air breather and chrome valve covers. Very nice inner fenders, nicely detailed engine compartment. still on fast idle right now. It's still about 20 degrees out today, a little cold. There we go. We got the choke off. Idle's down nice. This is a great looking paint job on it. It's a, a beautiful medium blue metallic. As far as our hood gap goes, it's a nice gap all the way across the front. Um, this fender could be moved just a little bit. It's just a little wider here in the front than it is all the way up and down the side. And this side here is just a little tight on the very front. So it could be adjusted a little bit, but uh, very doable. Um, lines up across the top of the fender and stuff nicely. We do have a couple paint chips. There's one right here by this fender where it is touched. There's one here also. It's all been touched up, but uh, it's got one in the rear quarter that I took a picture of as well. So it's got a couple little paint imperfections, but a beautiful, beautiful local car show quality car in my opinion. Just a really nice Chevelle SS convertible clone. As we move on front here to our uh, trim on the front, it's not brand new, but it's in great shape, shines nice. Uh, same thing with the front bumper, it's got a really nice shine to it, uh, side to side. Um, I don't see any major scratches, any things like that. There's just some hairline, little scratches and stuff in it, uh, just from age, but uh, I don't see any damage or nothing to it. Grill looks good as well. As we look up and down the side of this big block, it is super straight. Um, it's got the 396 turbojet uh, emblems on the front fender. It's got the super sport hood, the SS on the front grill, 396 emblems on the uh, air breather. Has a really nice white top on it. Does also have a black parade boot with new clips. It's just, it's a brand new boot, so it's very tight. So in the first pictures that I took, it just doesn't clip um, without being stretched out a little bit on the back corners. I'm guessing it probably just needs to be uh, stretched a little bit. And uh, as we look at the front fender on the passenger side, I don't see any blisters. We have a little tiny paint chip right there by my front finger there. Other than that, the fender looks great. We look at the bottom corner of the door here. All the way along the bottom, the back edge of the door is in great shape. No blisters. Paint on the passenger door is in really nice shape. It's got new rubber seal around the, the original door handle. Um, original door handles and chrome is in really nice shape as well. Our door gap in the back of the door is nice and even from top to bottom. It does have the rocker molding and it's got the uh, wheel well trim which is all in really good shape. Uh, no blisters behind the rear wheel. That's all nice and clean as well. You'll have to excuse me for some little bit of, uh, it's kind of muddy here today so we've got a little bit of water splashed up on this rear quarter. But very, very clean back there. It's got the SS emblems on the rear quarter. Exhaust comes out nice like it should. If you look at our undercarriage pictures, the frame floors, trunk floor, um, have all been detailed real nice. Bottom of the engine's all painted. It looks really nice underneath with nice dual exhaust. Rear bumper really has a beautiful shine to it. Um, tail light, the blacked out tail light area and the chrome is also in really nice shape from side to side. It's originally a Missouri car. Looks like it might have been sold new at Michael Connor down in Missouri. 
and uh, that's exactly where I bought the car. So, I mean, it spent most of its life in Missouri, as far as I can tell. Trunk lid, the trunk lid really lines up very nicely on the passenger side. Paint on the trunk lid is really good. Driver side lines up excellent as well. This car does have a, a glass back window. It has a glass back window, so uh, when you take the top up and down, you want to make sure you unzip that window or there's a chance that it could break. It's riding on a very nice set of American Racing Torque Thrust Chrome wheels. Um, BFG tires, I'm trying to get the tire size, 255-5017, so it's got 17s on it. As we look at the door jam paint, this paint on this door jam here on the passenger door is absolutely perfect. Absolutely no rust anywhere in those corners of the doors. Rubbers look new. Door jam paint is nice. Uh, these rubbers are in good shape. Convertible rubbers are real decent as well, nice and soft. All along here. As we look at the paint in the jams is in really nice shape. The dome lights work on both sides, as you can see there when you open the door. Uh, armrest, armrest base, door panel on the passenger side, window cranks, everything looks really nice there. Dash pad is great. I don't see any cracks anywhere there. The dash itself has all been redone with Super Sport gauges, new chrome around the radio. Um, its original AM radio works perfect still. The Super Sport chrome up here, the dash has all been painted, steering column, steering wheel. Just a very nice restoration on this uh, convertible here. Kind of listen to how the door shut. I'm very impressed by that. I really don't think there's any disappointments in this car. It's really solid. The paint looks great. The interior looks great. Um, and it runs and drives really nice. That four speed shifts great as we're going to uh, find out when I drive it here. Driver side is just as straight as the passenger side. Um, bottom part of the quarter panel, it's got a few little rock chips down there. You can see that uh, in the video. Um, no surface rust, no blisters, nothing like that. Just a few little rock chips. There is one touch up right here. The scratch has been touched up with the dark blue paint. Um, front of the rear quarter is good. No blisters or dings anywhere there. Wheels are nice. Rocker molding, wheel well trim is nice. Paint on the driver's door is great shape on the bottom. All the way from front to back. Lower fender is in excellent shape. Door gap is nice. From top to bottom, it's an even gap. Same thing up in the front fender area. Uh, the chrome mirrors, looks to me like it's original. It's just got a little patina to it, but it's in great shape. The window fuzzies are all brand new as well. The chrome that goes up and down. Kind of check out how these windows fit. Most convertibles don't fit very tight. This, these windows fit great on this convertible, in my opinion. We open up the driver's door, you can see where it's got all the factory door stoppers, GM sticker, paint on the door is great, bottom lip has never had any body filler in there. Rubbers are new, uh, door panels in excellent shape, armrest chrome is new, um, armrest itself is new. Seats are in good shape. Um, I don't see any rips or tears in the seats. The driver's side seat probably could use to have a little more cushion on it. It's the original seats and they're kind of wore down just a little bit. Back seat is like brand new as far as I can see. Back door panels are great. Carpet's new. Um, sill plates are in great shape as well. Alright, so our original Delco AM radio works. Shut that off for now. Peter works too, which is on a day like today is very important. It's got the Hearst shifter, the, the white Hearst shifter ball, a very nice Hearst chrome shifter. Um, boot looks sharp. 
console looks excellent on it. It's got the factory console with the factory clock. The clock is not set, so I mean that'll need to be reset. Uh, emergency brake seems to work. Wipers work perfect on it. We did, uh, when it came in, we uh, put a new wiper switch in it, so that is brand new. All the lights work on it. Um, dash lights all work on it. We shut them off and turn them on. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that light up in there. It's got the factory gauges, so the gas gauge works, full of gas, battery, tamp, and oil. All the gauges work, and it's got 79,446 miles on the odometer. The heater fan works. Does have a horn button, and that works well. The one in the uh, steering wheel is not hooked up. Uh, it's got the nice uh, super sport steering wheel. That's in really nice shape. This is just a great car, guys. It might be a clone, but sitting up next to it, you just can't tell the difference of a real one. I mean, besides the VIN number. The four speed on this car shifts as good as any four speed that I've ever driven. Like I said, the, as far as wind noise, I was very impressed when I drove this car last time. This seals up really nicely. The power steering is very nice. The steering column, the front suspension is all super tight on it. A lot of times when I'm trying to drive and steer and shift with just the one hand here holding the, the video camera, a lot of times when I shift the car will kind of dart one way or another because of the front suspension or the rear torque. This one does not. I mean it shifts beautifully. Um, when I'm going through the gears it stays going right down the center of the road. It's got nice torque and as I mentioned earlier, the front suspension is perfect. It does not need an alignment. Brake stop nice. The pedal's right up there, up at the top. Sit you right back in your seat. We've got a really windy day. You can see the paper blowing across the road. It's that windy. And really, it's not bad in here at all. This car accelerates great. Like I said, it's got a lot of torque. The steering is just really tight on the car. No disappointments with it driving. Uh, speedometer works good, doesn't bounce around. shift here in a minute. Here's our brakes. Perfect brakes. Guys, this is a really nice Chevelle. Jump in it, drive it home anywhere you want to go. I'd feel pretty confident about this one. Second gear again. How nice and quiet that is and how much torque it's got. Very nice one.